and welcome to Back Pocket News for the 17th of Feb, I'm Nido. And I'm Aussie Game Boy, and with so much to cover over the past few months, let's get straight into it. Sure thing, AGB. Starting off with number one, we have the possible fate of Animal Crossing Mobile. That's right, Nido. With the release of Fire Emblem Heroes on the 2nd of February and the Android release of Super Mario Run in March, Nintendo have decided to push back the Animal Crossing release date to the next financial year, which for Nintendo is in April. This is a free-to-play version of the Animal Crossing game series that reportedly will be able to connect with other Animal Crossing games from the dedicated consoles, but has not been confirmed what consoles will be compatible or if there even is a cross-platform feature. Are you excited for the release, AGB? I'm not really sure, to be honest. The Animal Crossing games have never really appealed to me, but I have never played one. If it's free to play, I may have to give it a go. But let's move on, shall we, to number two, and EA is almost finished with Star Wars Battlefront. It seems so, AGB. Get ready for more heroes and... That's about it at this point. EA hasn't released much about the new and possibly last major update, but they did say that they were paying close attention to fan suggestions. Though if you're in it just for the updated skirmish feature, then unfortunately you're out of luck as this has been confirmed to not be in the update. It makes sense though that EA is slowing down major updates because that means there's going to be more brain power behind. Drum roll please. Star Wars Battlefront 2, which will hopefully be less of a disappointment than its predecessor. Ha 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 ha. Moving on to number three, Conan Explicit Character Creation. Can we get a Not Safe for Work banner on the screen? That's right guys, Conan Exiles is allowing full nudity as part of its character creation. Wow, what a great way to improve armor rating. Now be aware, you don't have to be fully naked, but who could resist the temptation? The game starts off with your character exiled, hence the name, and crucified in a desert wasteland. This is where the character creation starts. Choose a certain male race and you'll find specific differences. Whilst most of the races sport an average penis, the male Kushite is in the lead when it comes to the length of your dong. We don't know why this could be, but you can make an educated guess. We'll head over to number four now, and PlayStation is finally getting an external hard drive update. Well, it's about damn time. If you bought a 500 or even a 1000 gigabyte PS4 and you've run out of space to store your games and movies, you may wait no more as Sony has given the PS4 external hard drive support in the next update, 4.50, which has not been given a release date yet, but expect to see it in the next couple of months. As well as hard drive support, the PS4 will also have custom wallpapers, a quick menu overhaul, and more simplified notifications. There's also an option to watch 3D movies on VR. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to have to take a break every half an hour or so. Well, I've got the Oculus Rift and I have watched a couple movies in VR on it. Only thing I have against it is the resolution. If you're watching a HD or 4K movie, you won't really see that quality come over in the VR screen. Not with the current hardware anyway. Plus, the PSVR is lower resolution than the Rift anyway. And finishing off with number 5, NBN CEO does not see a need for super fast internet in Australia. Am I hearing this right? Unfortunately, yes. It is true that most Australians are still waiting for cheap, reliable and ultimately fast internet connections because, let's face it, our internet sucks. Last year, Australia's internet speed satisfaction was ranked 23rd out of 26 countries, with South Korea, the US and Sweden taking 1st, 2nd and 3rd respectively. Bill Murray, the CEO of NBN Co, was recently asked about whether or not the NBN will be offering speeds of more than 100 megabits per second, to which Murray replied that the demand wasn't that big and that the data from overseas providers shows consumers who have access to super fast connection speeds weren't making the most of it. Shortly after, Morrow followed up on his answer with a statement reported by the Courier Mail, saying that, even if we offered it for free, we see the evidence around the world that they wouldn't use it anyway. We know that there are things on the horizon that are going to increase the need for further demand. Now, I've done my own research, and studies show that there are little to no downsides apart from maybe cost, I guess. Just saying. What's your opinion on the stories covered today? Are you excited for the release of Nintendo's mobile games? Do you think EA should still be supporting Battlefront? Can you wait to get fully naked in Conan Exiles? Are you going to be using a hard drive on your PS4? Are you happy with internet speeds at the moment? Why don't you leave a comment down below on your thoughts about today's topics? And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more? And why don't you click the little bell icon so you can get reminded about every new video that comes out? Well, that's it from us today. Thanks for watching. Aussie Game Boy, out. Nido, out. Point at the microphone. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>